Hello, and welcome to This Is Discuss, the, as far as I know, only fucking shitty. I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna watch This Is Us, um, and, and break it down. Why? I, ha I hate the show, I love, hate it. So let's get into it. Uh, season 5, episode 16, The Adirondacks. Okay, so it all starts with, um... I don't know any of their names or the actors' names. This is in the uh, 80s. The mom is psyched to watch uh, Dynasty. This is a wedding-themed episode. Even the even the even the mom wants to see a wedding on TV. Dad taped over. She had recorded Dynasty. The dad taped over it with a, a pirate's game. She goes into the children's room where he's putting them to bed, and they start fighting. She's like, I fucking hate being a mom, and I fucking hate having twin uh, triplets, and it's exhausting, and the one fucking thing I could have done was watch Dynasty, and you taped over it. And he's like, um, excuse me, we're in the kids' room right now. And she's like, gulp, I didn't realize, but she walked in there. Um, so whatever. It's Kevin's wedding day. He doesn't love this chick. Last episode, he watched Jerry Maguire and realized he was, uh, shoplifting the pooty. Oh, this couple I hate. This is the worst couple. She fucking everything makes her cry. So right now, he's like, I never was gonna be a stay-at-home husband, and it's freaking me out, and I don't want to do it, and I'm gonna get a job, and I love our kids, but I don't like being around, around them, and, and I get, I understand that. But she's like, oh, you just said... You just said all this shit. I'm going to the bathroom. It's like, all right, so everything's about you. Hey, this motherfucker puts up with all of her shit, and she's just like, okay, you're unhappy? Well, then I guess I have to go to the bathroom now and be unhappy. No one's allowed to be unhappy around me, the fucking precious, precious crybaby. Also, they put COVID into this show, and they really didn't need to. It only lasted for, like, four episodes. All, the, all they ended up doing was having a couple episodes where they wore masks and talked about COVID. And her dance studio, the, the wife of the... What is he, a mayor? He's, like, a mayor now? or I think he's a city councilman. I think they were probably like, What are we going to do with this fucking dance studio storyline? Um... Thank God there's COVID. Let's have it closed, because we had no plans for that. Okay, so... The altar at Kevin's wedding is broken, and everything is a big deal to this family. Like, if there's one imperfection, they fucking... Everything has to be perfect, and I'm gonna fucking make everything perfect. Here I go! Oh, this is the best part. Okay. So the kids, this, we're back in the 80s. The kids are like, Mommy and Daddy, we're fighting. Are you gonna get a divorce, Mommy and Nanny? And they're like, fuck, oh fuck, the kids think we're gonna get a divorce. Fuck, we've gotta fix this. Everything has to be fucking perfect all the time. Oh, how do we prove to these kids that we love each other? Oh, instead of just going like, fuck off, kids, it's fine. Like, go watch T.I. Joe. Uh, they instead set up a fucking projector and show their wedding. Like, these fucking seven-year-olds are gonna be like, I understand love now. You got weddinged. You got weddinged. I get it. But he can't remember his vows. <gasps> he can't remember his vows. So she freaks out. Once again, I guess they forget that their children are there and they do the same beat. Oh, gulp. The kids are here. They can't see us fighting. Everything has to be perfect. Back to the shitty storyline. They have a deaf kid and she uh, teaches at a deaf music school and she loves it. And, uh, but he gets this job offer, but it's in San Francisco. Oh, this scene, I forgot about this. It starts off with them going like, I, uh, I, uh when I cry, I sound like a chipmunk or something, know, something like that. And she's like, a chipmunk? Like, what? You know, like Alvin and Simon. What's that third one's name? Oh yeah, oh, Alvin, Simon, what is that third one's name? It's fucking Theodore. Everybody fucking knows it. This is not a thing that people forget. Alvin, Simon, Theodore. Oh god, so the fucking back in the 80s, the fucking kids are like, you need to get married today. And they do? Jesus, I, I zoned out through, I don't remember this at all. Oh, they all say, they, they all get married. They get married with their kids. God, this is, it's just insufferable, these fucking people. I guarantee you they would have bodies in the basement. These people are psychopaths. <sighs> Meanwhile, these guys are trying to fix the altar. They're making it very stressful for the viewers and for the groom by running around and just being in his fucking face constantly. Like, is everything okay? Everything has to be perfect. 
Through a series of weird flashbacks and marriage marriages, um, Kevin's his uh, fiance realizes that sh- he doesn't love her. He's shoplifting the pooty. So she's like, "It's off. Fuck it. We're not doing this shit. You don't love me." And he can't say it. He can't say I love you because he's in love with the idea of being married. Um, so she's like, "See ya. That's it." And then the family rallies around Kevin, and they're like. How can we be here for you? And he's like, I'm not going to drink because he's an alcoholic. Okay, now here's one of the things that I despise about this show. This wraps up. He's not getting married. Blah, blah, blah. They do this thing where they're always cutting between time frames. And, and, they, and they love to fool you. They love to go like, you thought it was in this time period, but it's not. It's in a different one. It's in a new one that we made up. And sometimes it's characters we've never even seen before. One time it was like the scientist who invented a navigation system on like a rocket. And you're like, what is this shit? They're like, we got ya. You thought that was uh, gonna be a part of the story. Shame on you thinking that something would be a part of the story. So anyway, this Kevin, he's doing this wedding speech the whole time. And you're like, okay, it's for his wedding. I get it. Um, but then he, no, this is the future, bitch. The mayor's on a magazine now. And then, oh, whose wedding is it? Is it his? Is it his? Is he getting married to, uh, I think her name's Sophie? The chick that he really likes? Nope. It's the fucking one. The one that I don't like. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, what happens to her and that other guy? Does he go to San Francisco and then... They have a long distance thing that's very hard to keep up, probably. Is it a cliffhanger or is it just nonsense? Is it what I hate the most about this show? A y- yes to all. Thanks for watching. This was This Is Discuss, where I discuss This Is Us.